Hello everybody. So, we have just introduced that bridge engineering in general, but I think it is worth to give you idea about the classification bridges before going to the our main topic that is reinforced concrete road bridges. What we shall do it here, I shall tell you this backer one. So, we are considering this one as a your second part, second lecture we can consider on that reinforced concrete road bridges, though we are still in the, the bridge engineering in general, because it is I feel it is appropriate to give you idea about bridge engineering before going to the our main topic. As usual, I shall give you on the classification of bridges and then obviously summary just to give you an idea and reference which particular book we are following for this particular lecture that I shall give you. So, let us just discuss on the classification of bridges. As I have told you, the it can be given in many ways. As I have told you in the last lecture, I have told you for learning purpose, obviously it is better that we shall not go span wise. The 10 meter, 15 meter, 20 meter, 30 meter like that, we shall never go like that. It is better to go whenever we are learning or for teaching purpose. Obviously, we shall go for the reinforced concrete, that is one way. Then we shall go for pistress concrete, then say steel bridges, then obviously the combination steel and concrete composite. Cable supported bridges, there is an interesting thing is that cable state bridges and suspension bridges that should be dealt separately. Whenever you are going for long span bridges, obviously that will not say your 10 meter, 20 meter, not like that. So, in that case, whenever you are going for long span bridges, it should be dealt separately. This is a that project is a separate one you can consider that one that whenever you are doing the construction of roads, there we the way we make it separate for the you would say that bridges and then we can consider you would say long span that is again another separate one we should consider here. Coming to this one here as I have told you here our because mainly we are considering your road bridges that is why I am showing you say um, that vehicles on roads, but uh, similarly there are actually it is very interesting just to give you idea because uh, railway having separate loading, separate um, configuration and nowadays the time is coming where you are having say your say high speed trains and there are another one say heavy haul. So, high speed train that you have to move very fast that is one, another one heavy haul means that um, vehicles are trains are heavily loaded that you are transfer of goods, loads that particular one you are having that is your another one. But here mainly uh, we are focusing on road bridges that is why you are giving the um, road vehicles only which I have already shown this particular one here. And our objective here that I have told you here the main objective here first I have to find out how much will be this length. Because the thing is not only your that vehicles you have to support, you have to support for pedestrian also, you have to support for this crash barrier also. So, whenever you are considering this crash barrier, this support that for that also you have to provide that deck, this is very very important here. And here obviously, the deck will be dependent on the size of the deck will be dependent on traffic volume, this is one part and then weight which will come how the weight will contribute the weight will contribute on the base on in a different way that is your say bending moment and shear force. So, that means whenever you are having that bending moment and shear force for the same w you can consider here then you can find out this particular on here just to give you idea that we are considering here that this is the one that say simply supported beam. Here you will find out that we are mainly considering here simply supported beam that we are considering here. There is certain load we shall discuss again 
but anyway just to give you idea before moving further this is your w which will mainly come from the self weight of the vehicle or self weight of the bridge the other one will come certain that wheel load the question is that how many wheels are there how much load we shall consider this is very very important that means for these two loads maybe this is say p1 this one may be p2 this may be p3 p1 p2 p3 all may be equal may be different so for that we shall get bending moment and then we shall get shear force so bending moment and we shall get shear force. So, bending moment will be near the mid span, shear force near support. So, that means, if W increases for this case, so obviously, M this is the one we shall get this particular one just to give you idea. Let us you are having say P and this is say your A. B and this is your L. So, M P A B by L. Now, this one at the load point, but this one at, at mid span and this one at load point. The problem comes I am getting at the mid span here and I am getting here. So, that means how much is the load that we have to find out. So, our objective is that within this particular one this span where is the maximum bending moment, where is the one maximum shear force and that we have to take care. So, that means if span increases bending moment increases that in a quadratic manner this is very very and this particular portion also will find out that means here. So, obviously, the depth of the beam or slab that one will increase. So, to overcome that situation obviously, there is a not a single solution that means, we shall just simply keep on increasing the depth of the slab that is not at all a wise decision and obviously, it is not at all not an economic solution also. That is why we are going for so many um, bridges we shall consider and I have told you already the load bearing floor of a bridge which carries and spreads the load to the main beams it is either of reinforced concrete, pistol concrete, oiled steel whatever way it can happen. So, this is the one that whatever we have discussed here. So, we can classify the bridge in different ways from the materials point of view from the uses point of view, from the span what is the length of the bridge or structural form. Earlier I have told you from the materials point of view you can consider that one that is the main part you can consider there. The reinforced concrete that one I am considering one material, pistress concrete though it is a combination of your say concrete and your say pistressing. So, that you can consider separately like that you can find out. Materials means here we can consider here concrete, steel, wood, hybrid combination of that one you can consider that one hybrid steel concrete composite that is also we call it composite. So, steel part and concrete part that one you it can be say stone and brick there are so many arch bridges you will find out made of actually your stones and bricks you can find out that there are still there existing particularly in your say railways you will find out so many um, arch bridges are there uh, railways uh, you can consider almost all over India 1 lakh 20 thousand bridges are available and almost you can consider say 20 thousand bridges are there which are actually masonry arch or um, that um, say stone arch bridges that are actually still available and obviously that particular one there are certain cracks available. So, how to take care that that is really 
a big issue. Though people are in the world wise there is a lot of actually work is going on and they have a solution also that how to do it, but that is a separate thing not connected with that. Uses point of view, pedestrian, highway, the road, that part corona, and then rail. So, these are the three actually um, you can consider here that pedestrian exclusively for pedestrian, exclusively for highway or exclusive for rails that is possible or it is possible for combination of all three that is also um, equally possible that but curve one here. There are uh, few bridges are there where you are having for railways as well as for roads that is actually available. Now, coming to this part curve one here this is very very interesting one to say that whenever you are talking the span, the span of the bridge whenever you are considering because first we have told your say materials that is the one from the teaching point of view also it is better to go as per materials point of view and then structural form also and which I have told you structural form obviously whenever you are considering materials then obviously the structural form also equally coming into picture. Now coming to this particular one here I can say the bridge that span wise I have given actually very very few things that short span, medium span, large span and long span just to give you idea the span short, medium, large and long. So, how it looks like what do you mean by short, what do you mean by medium because it may vary from person to person whenever I am talking short how, how much it is. So, that at least you have to give you certain number generally and this is you can say this is a fuzzy, fuzzy state you are telling short, medium, large or long you can say this is fuzzy. The way we talk that today is warm, today is cold, today is chilling weather. So, this is the one the temperature whenever we say that hot, whenever we say warm, whenever we say cold then the person with whom you are talking he understands what you mean to say. Similarly, here also whenever you are talking short, whenever you are talking medium, whenever you are talking large or long. So, we mean to say that it is actually related with certain kind of a number that particular number let us see how much it is. Before coming to that I shall come back to this over here. So, let me first show you that but one says small span bridges or short span bridges what I mean to say. I can further classify that one very interesting way I can say. So, short, small span bridges means up to 15 meter that is the one you can consider. Now, one can say with this 15 meter only no there is no such sacrosine number 15 meter it can be 20 meter also that way also you can say that 20 meter also I can go like that. So, under this category you can say that culvert bridge which this that one that also we shall tell you that particular one slab bridge, T beam bridge. So, mainly we are having slab bridge and T beam bridge in this particular course. Culvert bridge also can come, but that one I have taken that culvert bridge as separate one because they are actually um, earth pressure other things also equally important that is so why uh, you have to decide that whether we shall go for this one as a part of substructures though we are considering this one as a bridge or as a say superstructure in that means this is the combination of superstructure and substructure both this is a very very important one because earth pressure is equally important here. So, that is why as a introductory part in uh, bridge engineering that I have not considered that but core one. And then wood beam bridge, precast concrete box beam bridge whether it will be 15 meter that so small span or medium that is also you will find out. Precast concrete eye gutter bridge and rolled steel beam bridge that part core one you can consider. So, this is one we can consider that one say 15 meter span. Then medium span bridges up to 50 meter we are considering. Precast concrete box beam bridge, precast concrete eye gutter bridge very interesting thing I would like to say here that we generally consider T beam bridge, T beam we call it and generally we consider I gutter. This is the general nomenclature generally we follow that one can say I beam also there is nothing wrong in it, but generally we consider in that particular person. Then composite roll steel beam bridge 
that we can consider composite steel plate gutter bridge, cast in place RCC box gutter bridge, cast in place post tension concrete box gutter bridge and composite steel box gutter bridge sorry one bridge is extra so that please uh, do not consider so only up to this that bridge. So, this is these are under actually medium span bridges that way you can consider that here that we consider here. Now, large span bridges 50 meter to 150 meter. So, here we consider that one say composite steel plate gutter bridge, cast in place post tension concrete box gutter, post tension concrete segmental construction, concrete arch and steel arch bridges that we can consider here. Now, coming to this one here there are few you will get it here also as I have told you this particular one here. So, it comes like that and then we are having long span bridges over 150 meter cable straight bridge or suspension bridge that way you can consider here. So, coming to this one here what I like to say the short span, medium span, large span, long span that way you can find out and on the basis of that on the span wise you can consider that bridges you can classify. So, and this one will come to each one of them will come to each room. So, one very important part here I would like to show you here that span wise we are having certain say we are moving like this then we are telling some number say 15, some number say 50, some number say 150. So, whenever we are talking this one what we mean to say that everybody having their own room it can go, shall we make it up to this? No it can go up to this also. Maybe I can say 20 or it can go up to this also 25 meter. So, this is the range you can say which is coming for your say small or I can further I can say short. Short means something like this maybe say 5 meter or 10 meter also. So, this is the one the range. So, that is so why I do not say that one that uh, if you say is a small bridge or short bridge like that do not consider that particular one here that number is just for our guideline for our say understanding we can say that particular one, but do not say that particular one here that it should be 15 meter only no it is not like that. Similarly, whenever you are talking 50 meter it can go just to give you idea if you consider that one just to give you idea it can come like this also. Something it can come 70 meter like that also it can come here. 150 meter something it can come little here to something say 160, 170 like that. So, that is why I, I mean to say it is not the number to give you idea that it is within this particular range, but it does not mean that I cannot go little beyond of that particular number always we can go and sometimes we do it also this particular one here that I shall tell you something that to give you idea that what exactly. So, medium span bridges already I have told you those things whatever the things are there large span bridges I have given you this one and long span bridges I have told you. One thing this particular one here that I would like to show you the structural form this is actually equally important that form. So, first we have told you that materials then we have told you the uses then I have told you the um, so just to give you idea here. So, materials uses structural form
and then you are having span. So, whenever we are having this one, so it is interconnected. It is not the one that if you consider say uses, say what will be the structural form, what will be the materials, what will be the span. So, that means first of all that if you really consider that one say span, because first thing that is coming into picture in bridge engineering or bridges construction, how much we have to overcome. Let us consider this particular one here, certain kind of say your that barrier that particular one that road is coming here and you have to overcome this particular one say canal whatever this is the cross section. This may be a river and we would like to actually travel this one. Now, how much we shall consider here? Shall we just stop it here? Shall we stop it here? Or I shall go little further? That also we can decide that how much we shall go that particular that that approach road. Whenever you are talking this approach road, and this side also you are having approach road. So, where that approach road will end and that bridge will start from this side also that is equally important. So, that means that what will be the span? Is that span are you going to make it a single span or we are going to make it as I say number of spans that are we going to make? That means a small small one number of spans. Small small means again do not say 15 meters and what will be the span that we have to decide. So, that is why the first thing important is a span equally important that is uses. So, span and uses this one will come together. So, what is the purpose? Is it a state highway? Is it a national highway? It is a village road. So, that we have to do that one will be that one that uses. And what is the purpose of uses that one? It is only for vehicles. Are we allowing for pedestrian in both sides or one side? That also we have to decide. On the basis of that, then we shall go for that one say your materials and structural form. So, these two will come together and then on the basis of that we shall decide that which type of bridge we shall consider here. So, that is why here you will find out the structural form that we are having slab, garter, then we are having truss, then arch bridges, suspension bridges and then cable state bridges. So, these are the different kind of the forms available for us. So, on the basis of that we shall decide depending on the span. Generally, you will find out that uh, I can say each of them having its own room. That means, this particular form will behave in a optimum manner. Optimum manner means from the strength point of view as well as from the economic point of view. So, if we consider from the strength point of view as well as from the economic point of view, if you consider that particular one here, that you will find out that one that you will decide that particular one say different kind of forms um, you will consider here. So, each of them having own room that means, if you consider slab bridge it is having certain place that you should not go beyond that. If you go beyond that then it will not be economic because anyway it has to be safe the depth of the section you have to provide. So, anyway it has to be safe. Coming to this one here I have told you already. So, as I have told you this particular one here, so I have introduced though I have told you the small one, so I have introduced another one say short span. So, I have further I have classified the small to short that means here I am telling 10 meter, then small span means 10 meter to 20 meter, medium span 20 meter to say 50 meter earlier I have told you 15 meter, so here I am telling say 15 meter 20 meter, large span 50 meter to 150 meter and over 50 meter. So, this course whenever we are talking this particular one here, I can say that we are talking only these two that short span and small span. If we go for medium span in that case or little more 25 meter also I can say, there we can say that particular one bridge that one will be say pistis concrete we shall go. That is the one we can consider large span again that particular one here, then we can consider say other cable supported 
other something that but the long span whenever you go there, it is better to go for say cable supported cable state bridges or say suspension bridges. So, this is the one that means in this particular course we have a very very small domain, but it is maximum used these two and that is why we have kept it it is a reinforced concrete road bridges again we are considering not rail part only road bridges and that we shall do how to design that particular one that we shall find out here. Bridges are also classified as minor bridge up to 60 meter major bridge over. So, that means whatever we have discussed so far with so many things we have spent so much time that we are telling, but we are finally we are telling okay, let us consider this one as a minor bridge up to 60 meter major bridge above 60 meter very simple solution. So, we can consider all of them say for example, box culvert, we can consider you as a slab bridge, we can consider you as a RCC T beam, then we can consider um, priestess I gutter, all of them mainly we can consider as a minor bridge and then other we can consider as a major bridge that we also we can consider. Depending on the situation how you are considering that bridge, then also on the basis of that also we can consider as a minor bridge or major bridge that what Corona we can consider. Now, coming to this one already I have told, I have told many times, I have told this particular one here that load bearing floor of a bridge, I have told this is the third time possibly I am coming to this one because deck is very, very important here and only you see the deck part only. Below whatever you are having that we do not see, but we have to provide that and which one we shall provide that is actually equally important here. Now, coming to this one here I can say the main structure elements it is very very important here that below the deck line. So, deck is one part below the deck line above the deck line coincides with the deck line. So, that means you can say less than 0 equal to 0 greater than 0. So, this is say less than 0 you can say it is greater than 0 this is equal to 0 something like that I can say. What are those actually let us see main structure below the deck line masonry arch, concrete arch, inclined leg frame just to give you idea that particular one this is uh, that will be easier and that one we can say. So, this is the one road line whenever you are having anything below like that this one we are considering this one that below deck line this is your deck line. So, whatever we are considering that one here that is actually below deck line. Similarly, we can have whatever we are having above this is actually above deck line. So, I can consider like this. So, vehicles will move along this, vehicles will move along this and the third one we are considering here the deck line. So, our objective here in this case in this particular course we shall only consider that deck line that means as if that whatever you are doing everything along the deck line you are considering here. So, this is your one idea this is another one that cable supported bridge that one also you can consider above deck line, truss bridge above deck line, but we are considering a slab bridge that is along the deck line, RCCT beam that is also along the deck line that we shall consider here. Main structure above the deck line suspension bridges, cable straight bridges through truss bridges these are your above the deck line. Main structure coincides with the deck line slab bridge, T beam bridge I gutter bridge, steel plate gutter, steel box this one we consider as a say your with the deck line we can consider. So, our objective here for this particular course the slab bridge and T beam bridge which is nothing but we shall consider along the deck line and that one how it comes that we shall also discuss. 
So, already I have told you many times, so no need of uh, telling again. This is our objective, and this is the one I am telling uh, number of times I am showing this figure just to give you idea that our objective is that we have to find out the width of the bridge considering different aspects, different purpose, different uses, and the depth of the deck. This is one part, and if we go for other one, that how to decide that. So, considering the duration of the present course, reinforced concrete road bridges will be discussed. The following bridges will be studied in the present course, the solid slab bridges and RCC T-beam bridges that we shall consider here. These are the main two one because if we consider these two, if we know this one properly, I think that it is possible to learn other also it is very easy to that you can now go the same thing will come into picture it is nothing but bending moment shear force axial force and torsion because this will be variation or combination of this type of loading will come so then we can if we understand this particular one we shall be able to do the other part also so in summary that beaches are classified according to materials uses span and structural forms we have discuss that one that first one hour the first part of the lecture one and then this lecture two that we would like to say that record one that finally why you have chosen that are reinforced concrete road bridges because this one it comes up to say 25 meter you can consider you can go up to 25 meter as i have told you that each bridge having its own each bridge having its own road so what we can say or room so, I can start from here 5 meter 5 to maximum I can go 15 I do not like that I shall go 15 I can say 8 to 12 meter then I am having another line say 20 meter and I shall go up to 25 meter. So, Slab bridge you can go up to 5 meter also, slab bridge you can go. Generally you consider this one say 10 meter, this is the range very good one for slab bridges. Then we consider this one say maybe say 18 meter, 22 meter, this is a very good place for RCC T beam. So, slab means this is the construction of cross section of slab and this is the one this one for RCC T beam. So, obviously the question is that one how many guard, uh, beam we shall give this is very important what will be the thickness. So, all those things we have to decide we have to find out. So, this is your that. So, our main topic here we shall consider that slab bridge and RCC T beam. As, as I have told you the room for that 10 meter that is the one we can say optimum 20 meter for your say you can consider for C3 beam I can go little less little more, but again we are actually that if you go little further that means you are approaching somebody else's room then it may happen that it is better to go for pistis concrete one. So, this is the one that how we decide that which type of structural form will be appropriate for a particular span. So, with this references again for this particular one we have taken from this book we have taken design of IO bridges LRFD approach. So, we shall consider that design considerations in the next lecture and then your loading as per the Indian standard that we shall discuss in the, in the coming lectures with this. So, thank you very much. <laughs>